your cycle you did um mm. and obviously the surfing being around the water you're really into you know taking care of your your health and well-being um and as you said you know with the, the cube gym um but you're really health conscious and also really just look at like to look at sustainable living and how you can you know just be a better human in general um so sustainable living what is it it's lifestyle in the way to reduce the use of the earth's natural resources um, i think for me yeah how do you approach your life in that sense i think for me the the biggest thing is education like to educate yourself on what you're doing, how you're using your resources, where they're going, where they start from, where they end up. And when it comes to food, I think the most important thing we can do is, um, you know, understand where our food's coming from. Um, you know, the farming practices, the farmers, traceability, all that sort of stuff. And we're very lucky in Australia that, you know, our farming practices are pretty incredible. We're pretty top notch. And, you know, I think the farmers get a bit of a cop, a bit of flack every now and again. And, a lot of that flack comes from people that have never stepped foot on a farm, <laughs> which is bizarre to me. Um, I get to do that, you know, basically half the year I'm standing on people's farms, whether it be a, you know, a massive producer or someone, like I said, it's just growing a small crop of lavender in their sort of backyard that they're selling and turning into oil, which is a weird example, but that's a story that we've done. But I think for me, knowing that a product is Australian grown by Australian farmers here in Australia. I think that's like your first step towards, you know, ticking one of those boxes that traceability and, and knowing that you're supporting local um, is really, really important. And I think it's just being more conscious of everyday usages, whether it be turning off lights, not using the dryer, putting things on the clothesline, really simple stuff that, you know, I, I think that, a lot of people grew up with and particularly people like our parents age would have grown up with, you know, this sort of more conservative way of living when it comes to waste, um, which I think as modern life becomes more and more convenient, people become more and more wasteful. Um, and it's just being conscious of that, I guess, that waste and what we're doing with our, um, our lives. Yeah. I think this was one of those things that I, like, I've always been really conscious of, you know, where my, my meat's coming from and, you know, whether buying from those supermarkets like Coles and Woolworths versus like going to your local butcher. Um, but I think, I guess the first thing when it kind of dawned on me was when there was that hep hepatitis um, with the, with the berries coming from overseas and kind mm. of, or, you know, where like looking, being more intrigued and interested in where my products actually coming from the food I'm eating. Mm. I think it's really, um, really great thing that you're, you know, you're, advocating for that more sustainable way of living and i think it's something that we should all all be much more aware of mm. um in terms of like your own cooking and lifestyle how do you approach that you know whether it comes to exercise and eat I, you know I hear stories about chefs where they're like they're so buggered they go home and just make a cheese toast or a cup of noodles <laughs> are you like that or do you go home and <laughs> some of the delicacies we see that you you brought to the master chef stage yeah, I try to, you know, for me, a lot of the time, you know, I enjoy cooking. It's funny when you're cooking for a camera, or you're cooking for people or you're cooking and, you know, whatever, it can become a bit of a chore. But when I'm cooking by myself and it's nice and relaxed, it's a real, I guess, passion and it's a real relaxing moment for me. So I do enjoy creating when I'm at home. At the same time, though, um, doing that is... For me, food, especially when I'm working hard, training hard, I still first and foremost think of food as fuel, right. if that makes sense. You know, food is a way for me to fuel my body, fuel my brain, keep myself healthy, get my nutrients. So that's always my first thought whenever I'm creating a meal, particularly at home. And then the other thing is like, you know, I'm thinking about costs. I'm thinking about where the food came from. I'm thinking about what have I got in the fridge that I don't want to waste. You know, I need to use this, this, and this up. So yeah, a lot of the home cooking is sometimes a little bit mismatched, <laughs> a little bit all over the shop. But um, generally, yeah, I tonight I've got a very simple meal of lamb chops, sweet potato, and broccoli. So it's like the Beautiful. meat, meat and three veg. But it's very much about you know, for me, it's about fueling the body, but. It is nice. I do enjoy having people around, you know, having a bit of a dinner party, putting a bit of a soiree on. It's always fun as well. But Monday to Friday, it's just fueling up the body and um, 
keeping it real. And sometimes when we're on the road, like filming and all you got is servo pies and chicken schnitzels, that's just what it's got to be. Mate, it's a good skill to pull out though. If you're not like, if you're not using it Monday to Friday, but on the weekend you've got a gathering and you can pull out all those delicious meals. And <laughs> your papa, I tell you, anyone would uh, envy the, the, the skills, the culinary skills you 